I'm actually recording my video on Monday. This rarely happens. I'm mostly recording my video on Monday because we have not actually picked a theme for this week. I don't know what to say. Yeah. So I'm just gonna ramble and I guess we're gonna do another free for all week or I don't know. We'll see. Since our whole thing is like, you know, being expats, there is another thing that's going on in my life that is directly related to my being an expat or, you know, sort of. Banks here do this thing where if you enter the wrong pin three times, it, they just keep your card. Also, you don't get to choose your pin code. My bank assigned me my pin code. Almost two weeks ago, it'll be two weeks on Wednesday, I entered the wrong pin, machine eats my card. I go into the bank and explain what happened and they say that there's a separate company that comes to retrieve the cards, so I will have to return on Friday to get my card. I come back on Friday, just after four, and it turns out that the bank closes at four on Fridays and it's not open on weekends. Monday I come back in again, I got my card back this time. The guy placed a phone call to somebody else at the bank and said that I would be able to use my card the next day, Tuesday. Tuesday I am still not able to use my card but I really hate going into the bank so I was like maybe tomorrow it'll work. On Wednesday it still did not work so I was like all right I have to actually go into the bank and talk to them about this. The woman at the bank explains to me that there's a machine that they have to use to reactivate the pin but that the one at this branch isn't working so I have to go to the other one. Unfortunately at this time it's also very near close of business so I was like there's really no point in me walking down to this other bank when they're probably gonna close right as I'm walking up so I'll do it tomorrow. I go back on Thursday and it turns out that I just have no idea what my pin is. In order to use this machine that reactivates the card you have to enter your correct pin and I, I don't. I tried it twice with the two things that I'm still positive were it. I, I don't know what happened in this process of dealing with it, but I know that one of the two things I tried this time had to have been right, but whatever. It didn't work. So the bank lady had them send me a new pin code, which takes roughly three days to get to me. This again was happening very near close of business on Thursday, so I'm assuming probably not actually getting sent off until Friday and then Bastille Day, and so probably not going to be resolved until Wednesday. Obviously at the root of this whole story is my own basic stupidity and general complications surrounding the fact that I don't speak French. These kinds of interactions are really, really difficult for me. Which is part of why I avoided it and pushed it back and all of that stuff. Because although I am aware it is not conducive to me learning the language, I like to avoid these interactions at whatever costs possible. Actually, there is one banker at my bank who I do seriously, seriously adore because she's like my unofficial language partner. She's basically made it her mission to help all of the people from my school who have accounts there learn French. I ask all of my questions in French and she answers me in English. And sometimes because I hear her say something in English, it's, you know, the instinctive response for me is to respond in English. And as soon as I start speaking English, she'll cut me off. No. You speak French? I speak English, but like in a really, really sweet way. Anyway, that was really not actually an interesting or exciting story at all. I'm sorry about that. So to avoid this problem in the future, I think it would be really great if you, dear viewer person, could leave a comment telling us, is there anything that you would like to see us discuss or do? I don't know about do. I might be creating some, some problems for us with do. Brittany, uh, I, hmm, I don't know. 